Welcome back to my YouTube tutorial. This is ABN Graphics. Yes, on this particular tutorial, we are just going to learn how to divide a circle to different segments like this. You get that? Let's ha just having this on it. Just a circle like this, then you can divide it to the to, to a different, different, different segment so that you can place image on that. I designed or I make a tutorial on this particular poster design uh, about three weeks ago, but I couldn't explain because my laptop was having a problem. So with this, I had a question or they asked me a question on that uh, with Abdullah Abdul Rashid and see uh, over here, he said such a nice design, but then how is division of the cycle? How do I do that particular division of a cycle? Uh, how do I divide it into all these segments? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How do I do that in Photoshop? So in this particular tutorial, we are just going to learn how to divide the, seg the how to divide the cycle into into different segments so that you can easily place your images on that with just a easy it's very easy so let's just go to our photoshop just like this so first of all i'm just going to create a new document that i'm going to use to do this particular distance so i'll just leave it 200 pixels by 200 pixels i think that one is okay for me just like that so the first thing i'm going to do is to pick up my tool which is the circle or ellipse tool so i'll come over here then i'll pick the ellipse tool over here just like this you get that then i'll hold my shift to draw a perfect circle yes you get that something like this is okay then i'll change the color i can change the color any color that i wish to change it you get that so let me just have it red so that you can understand it better so first of all what you need to do is that after drawing your circle like this what you need to do is that make sure this circle is in the sector of this particular a square document you get that to make it in the set to, to to place it in the sector uh, type control a to select all then over here you click on this that is align horizontal centered and here align vertical centered it will be centered just like this you get that then after that you type control D to what to deselect it you get that yes the next thing again you have to do is that you have to come over to the circle layer over here then you right click then rasterize the layer just like that you get that yes then after that what you need to do is come over again and pick a rectangular tool over here just like this you get that then when you click when you pick that particular rectangular tool then you draw uh, a reasonable or uh, just how how you want the the space to be something like this is okay for me it shouldn't be that bigger so something like this is okay for me then you can have something like this then over there i'm just going to change the color to white because um i just want to work with white over there just like that okay then i'll close up this particular background so that you can see only the red and this you get that then the next thing again i'm going to do is to type ctrl a again to select all then i'll align a vertical centered and horizontal centered just like this okay then i'll type my ctrl d to deselect just like that you get that so the next thing again i'm going to do is to duplicate this layer by control by typing ctrl g to duplicate you get that so when i do that i'll type ctrl t Control T to free transform. You get that? To free transform just like that. You get that? So first thing I'm going to do over here is that when you do that, when you come over here, you see an angle here. You see that? That's angle. So there is angle. So you change the angle to what? To 45 degrees. And then you click OK. You have done something over there just like that. Then you duplicate another layer again. You duplicate that same thing over there. S duplicate this, the centered one, okay? The 90 degrees one. Duplicate it by Control J. Then you type Control T again. Then with that, you do what? Over the angle there, you make it minus 45. So have something like this over there too. To go this way, to go the left side. This one was right side and this one goes to the left side. You get that? That looks so cool. Then you come over again to this first 
a rectangular tool that you draw then you duplicate it by ctrl g again then with this you type ctrl t again just like that then over this particular distance when you come to the uh the, the the angle side you can put 90 there 90 it will it will just do what it will have it divided just like that okay then we can have something like this one two three four five six seven eight nine one two three four five six seven eight so that's eight you get that so the next thing again i'm going to do with this is okay for me i'll just hold shift and then select all the rectangular shapes uh over there just like that then i'll right click then convert it to a smart object however i don't need this but i just want to have my circle being divided into different segments you get that so i'll hold control on this particular terminal over here i'll click on that then when i click on that you see that it has selected only the rectangular uh, shapes just like that you get that then when that when that is done then i'll close up or i'll hit it then i can have only this over there you get that so the next thing again i'm going to do is to come and click on the shape uh, this circle tool you get it just then i'll just press delete to delete that particular things away then i can now uh, type ctrl d to deselect it just like that so i can have my circle being divided so with this i can decide to do what i can decide to delete it that way because i don't need it again so with this you can still move it you can still move it with the circle however i don't need i just need different different segment to 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 have my distance that so what i need to do is that i just want to remove one two three four five six seven you get that so i'll come over and pick you can pick polygonal tool to do that and you can also pick a laser tool to do that depending on how fast you can use so let's say when you pick polygonal tool it's easy that you can easily divide it just like that you click you click you click just like this it's a selected like that so to have it different different you can just leave it you can come and click on this so that you can have it uh added or that but with this i don't want to get you confused so let us just do it separate separate so i'll right click then i'll layer view cut just like that so i have removed one like that so i can make it one then i'll come over i'll close it up then i'll come and select this one let's select this one just like that okay then i'll lay layer view cut that one too then i'll call it two then i'll come over here to do the same thing to this you get that with this i'm just i'm not going to fast forward it i just want you to understand it very well then i can make it three my three has cut off then i can do this one the same thing to this all right all right let me see okay i think this is okay then i can cut it off with this then this i'll make it four that looks so cool and over here i'll do the same thing to this cut off i'll come and select this then i'll right click then leave you cut it then i can have this one as what five and then i'll come and click on that the same thing i'm just going to click on this right click and then layer view cut so have it just like that then over there i'll do the same thing to the last this thing over there just like that with this then i can have this so this is uh six and this is seven and this is what eight so let me on all or let me just show all just like this then i can have all my this thing but i can move it around i can move it anyhow any way i want you get that yes so with this i think i have just divided my cycle into two different set into different segment you get that so i can select this then i'll go to file come to uh, place a link then I'll look for any image that I wish to use. 
on this so uh i don't have any image that i'm going to use but let's just, just use this particular this thing just like that then i'll do what i'll right click and create a clipping mask in just like that and then i'll try and transform it depending on how i want it to be so this is so cool then that looks so cool then i'll come and pick up this one do the same thing to it just like that then i'll right click and create a distance over there just like that and then i can have sorry i can have this then let me transform it a little bit so that that looks so cool i want this way and then i can so if you want to put image here you, you have to click on that and you make sure that it is selected in the layer panel then you go to your file and come to place link and then you just place the link there just like that somewhere just like this and then it does done you get that then you can transform on how you want it to be so with this it looks so cool so this is how we divide a circle into two different segments and with this you can even add another uh ellipse tool or circle to to over here and then you can add an image let me just add this same image over there just like that you get that yes then i can have something like this let me on out the background just like this so it looks so cool so this is how we divide a circle into two different or, or into different segments in on photoshop thank you very much for watching this is abian graphics